In this short video, I'm going to show you how to move messages from uh, IBM MQ to uh, Kafka or uh, event streams. I've got the cluster installed with the uh, cloud back for integration. If I go and have a look at the uh, MQ, uh, I'm going to create a new queue, a local queue, Q1, create it. If I uh, look at my queues inside this queue manager, you can see I've got a Q1 now. What I also have in this queue manager, I've got uh, a payment a request queue. We've got a, a process or application behind the scenes that every 30 seconds it sends uh, uh, a payment message uh, in MQ, JSON format. And I want to duplicate these messages to event streams. If I go to my uh, event streams, I'm going to create a brand new topic. I'm going to call this one topic one. Next, and I'm just going to accept all the default environments. If I open up this a little bit, you'll see there's my topic one. Click on topic one. There's no messages in it. The first thing uh, I want to do is uh, I want to make use of the MQ streaming technology to duplicate um, the queue. So if I go to my source queue, payment request, um, I'm going to view the configuration. I'm going to edit the configuration, and down in the storage area, there's a streaming queue name. I'm going to just add Q1 in there. What this will do is, it will every message that goes into this payment or request queue will also be have an exact duplicate copy inside Q1. This, of course, means that whoever is still reading payment or request is doing it 100% exactly as it was in the past. It's got no impact on that. Let's save this. If I go back to my uh, queues, I should see duplicate copies arriving in Q1. It's every 30 seconds. So I'm just going to have to refresh a few times. There's the first one. Look at the data. You can see it's exactly the same format as what we've seen before. To now take the messages out of this queue and put it into event streams, I'm going to make use of uh, one of the features inside event streams. I look at my installed operators. I've got uh, event streams installed here. I look at my Kafka connectors and I'm going to create a new Kafka connector here. I've prepared a little YAML file before the time for this. It looks like this. Uh, please ask me for this, this YAML file if you want it, but the only thing you really have to set in this standard YAML file is to which topic do you want to move the messages and from which queue. Then uh, I've got a, a namespace specified, you know, where all of this is installed. I'm going to give it a name, MQ Connector 3. And uh, I've got some default connection options for MQ. I'm going to use the channel name system.dev.server.con. It's looking at my uh, connection name of orders IBM MQ and port 1414. Let's copy this. To create a new connector here, I'm just going to copy that. Copy this. Hit a little plus up here. Paste it in here. And create it. If I go back to my uh, installed operators, event streams, and look at my Kafka connectors, you'll see this one is ready now, MQ Connector 3 ready. Let's jump back to my uh, topics, and you see the topics has already started to be duplicated in here. So that is really how easy it is to move messages from MQ to event streams. Thank you.